I am Lasha Snow and welcome to my little part of the internet. Today's video is another little story and today's story features a close personal friend of mine if not one of my best friends. He is one of my best friends, it makes sense. This story involves Steve. Now, this is quite an interesting story and maybe a violent one but I have to kind of say this now, it was done in no there was no violent intent in this at all. It was just stupidity. I think Steve will agree with me on that. I'm not sure how he'll react to this being on the internet, but apologies. <laughs> okay, this story starts a few years back. Um, one Saturday evening, we had me and Steve had talked about going to his house on the Saturday evening to bring a whole lot of. Um, wrestling DVDs, so we can just kind of sit, have beers and watch a whole lot of old um, wrestling videos and stuff that's all down here. But we were in his room just you know, chilling with a few beers and watching wrestling and then his girlfriend and another one of our friends came over. And you will know who you are but I'll not give your names away because But, anyways, we were just drinking, and you know, as you do, as you do. Dave was sitting on his chair at his computer, I was sitting at my chair, and the two guards were sitting on the bed. And at this time, Steve's little puppy dog, Scotty, who was an awesome dog, was still alive, and he was pottering about through the room and on the bed and whatever. And then, <laughs> in a weirdly drunken, half-tipsy state, Steve noticed there was a pen knife sitting on his table and he opened the little knife part of it and at this point because it wasn't going anywhere fancy I was wearing sweatpants because what else do you do and he took the little Swiss army knife he brought the knife part out of it and goes I want it almost exactly the same as what I said with the soldering iron incident I wonder what will happen if I do this which then he took the knife and he just kind of jabbed it into my knee. <sighs> it sounds so violent, but it, there was no violence behind it at all. He was just being stupid and he didn't quite realize that he had made full blown contact with my knee. Anyway, the dozy part on my end was I sat there and went, ow, and just kind of stroked my knee. I didn't really think anything after that because I didn't think he had done much damage to be honest. So, it was about five minutes later, just sitting there, blah blah blah, watching wrestling and drinking beer and whatever else. And I felt it trickle down my leg and I thought, what the hell? So I lifted up my, um, my sweatpant and my leg was red. Steve had actually made a, not a gigantic hole, but it was a big hole in my knee and the blood was just streaming down it. I didn't quite realise this until I felt the trickle down my leg. But at that point it must have just been emptying out. I don't know how I didn't feel it, but I didn't. And there's... <laughs> Steve's face went from being a normal colour to being just white as a sheet. I think it scared him quite a lot. And I can kind of understand that because you're like, Boop. and then the next time you see it, it's patient with blood. Anyways, it was at that point everybody kind of jumped into action girls automatically jumped for the like, kitchen roll and we tried to stop it and we eventually got it stopped but <laughs> it looked like there had been a massacre with the kitchen roll without roll and it was blood soaked and I don't know if I have any pictures of it but if I do find any pictures of even the blood roll or I know we took a picture of Scotty with a bit of uh, toilet roll around his head <laughs> And it's quite an adorable picture, and if I can find it, I will put it up here at some point. But, yeah, we eventually got stopped, and it was, looked like it, there was a massacre, because it was just a mass of red and white everywhere. And I can remember just before um, it happened, I kind of had a feeling Steve was getting bored of watching wrestling. It's like, oh yeah, let's, let's do this, you know, let's do this. And once it happened, he automatically said, 
oh, let's do what you want, let's do this, let's do this. But I think he just felt bad because of what happened. I hold no grudges or anything like that. That's just stupid because he's one of my best friends and why would I hold a grudge over some stupid thing like that? Anyways, uh, after we got it stopped, we decided to, well, we didn't decide because we had been drinking most of the day. Um, one of the guards drove to Tesco and another one of our friends works in Tesco. Um, we happened to stumble across him at that point on the Saturday. I was like, look what Steve did, look what Steve did. And then I pulled my, I put my trouser leg up, not down. That would have been disastrous in a public space. Pulled it up, showed him it. I was almost proud of it at that point. Look what he did to me, look what he did. I don't know why, but it was fun then having to ring the, um, having to ring the doctors on a Monday morning and say, hey, can I have a tetanus injection, please? Oh, right, okay, no worries, we'll book you in here. So I went up, sat in the chair, and the nurse ready to all the tetanus injections, and she says, oh, no, what happened? And I says, well, it sounds like a very violent story. Well, basically, I was at friends on Saturday evening, and he stabbed me with a pen knife. And she looked at me as if to say, holy shit, what have you just been involved in? But then I had to kind of explain that it was done accidentally, and there was no harm behind it, just like I'm doing with you. But yeah, that was an interesting few days trying to explain how I have a massive hole in my knee to a nurse without getting Steve arrested. <laughs> but the only reason we went for tennis in the end was because the knife had been sitting there for a while and was kind of dusty and stuff, so just to be safe. So I hope I haven't named and shamed Steve too much. I hope we don't give him too much hate or whatever, but. Just know it was completely accidental and daft and stupid. And it's a kind of a, not a nice story, but it's kind of a funny story to kind of retell every now and again. And it always gets a laugh. And I think Steve always feels really awkward because of it. If he just got, that me through the knee. It adds a whole new meaning to the Skyrim phrase. I took an arrow in the knee. I took a knife in the knee. I am now a Skyrim soldier. Yeah. Anyways, I hope you have enjoyed this completely random, non-violent story, and as always, if you like it, hit the like button, comment below if you think it was stupid, or if you have had anything daft like that happen to you. I hope you have a good day, whatever you may be doing, and I will see you again in the next video. So, bye! -bye.